April has already given us a lot of cool models, which include models from Mistral, Meta, Microsoft, Google, and the list goes on and on. Just two days ago, Microsoft released this 5.3 model series, which is tiny but mighty. This 5.3 series has three sizes, mini, small, and medium. Mini comes with 3.8 billion parameter, small comes with 7 billion parameter, and medium comes with 14 billion parameters. These models are designed to run efficiently on both mobile devices and your computers using advanced data sets to achieve high performance. All of these models are transformer decoder architecture. I already have done few videos where I have given detailed overview of these models plus I have also shown you how to install them on Windows, Linux and few other tidbits. So please search the channel. I will also put the link in comments or video description to go through them. But in this video, I am going to show you how you can create a local private chatbot on top of Fi3. The tool which I am going to use in order to install this Fi3 model on my local system is Olama. I already have done the videos how to do that. So please also check it out. But just to give you a quick overview, first you would need to install Olama. So just click on this download. Click on Linux or Windows, whatever your operating system is. For Linux, just grab this command and run it on your local system. Once that's done, then just click on Fi3 and just grab this command and this is going to download and install Fi3 on your local system. For the purpose of UI for chatbot, I'll be using this chatbot Olama from Ivan, which is an open source free chat UI for Olama. I also have done detailed architectural video on this, but I will also be showing you in this video how to install it from scratch. So enough theory. Let's go back to my local system and then I will show you how to install these things. So you can see that I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear my screen. Now, first thing we need to do, we need to install Olama, which I already have done with the command which I showed you and you can check which models are already there. So when I do Olama list, you can see that Lama 3 and Mistral are already there. And now we need to install Fi3. In order to get it installed, all you need to do is to run this command, Olama run Fi3. It is going to pull all the layers from uh, it's repo and then it is going to install it. So you can see the size is just 2.3k. That's it. And I think that is the only big layer. Rest of the layers are just metadata. It is almost there. That is one of the beauty of Olama that it is very quick, very fast. That is almost done. Let's wait for it. It is going to verify the checksum and then it is going to run it on our local system. You see that it is verifying the checksum and that's done. So we have our Olama running on our local system. If you access it in the browser and let me take you there. So just put your IP and then this is where Olama is running in the browser. Make sure that you have the port 11434 open uh, on your firewall if you have any. Otherwise, it should be accessible easily if you have already everything open. Okay. So now that's done, let's get install our chat UI on top of it and then we will run it in the browser. Let me go back to my local system and now let me exit from here. Let's clear the screen. Now the first thing we need to do is to git clone the repo which I just showed you of chat UI. So simply do git clone. And then this is a repo. It says it's already exists. So let me delete it from there. And then I'll do the clean installation for you guys. That is done. Let's clear it. And let's install it again. Ready to this. Now, before I install all the prerequisites for this chatbot there are two things which you need to install one is node and the other one is npm so make sure that you already have them installed node is there for me npm is there for me and if you are running ubuntu all you need to do is to just run sudo apt 
install and something like that and npm and node it's very simple i also have a few videos if you don't know how to do it so we have all the prerequisites there and we are within that directory of chatbot olama as you can see these are all the stuff and now we need to install all the requirements let me first clear the screen and now in order to install all the requirements and dependencies all you need to do is run this npm ci and it is going to install all the dependencies on our local system it won't take long and you can ignore this deprecated warning almost there and that that's it now in order to run it you just need to run npm run dev and it is going to run this on your local system so it is already running there and now you can access that chatbot on your local system in the browser and that is all you need to do so let me go to my browser so you see that now this chatbot ui on top of my model is running here by default it has selected mistral because uh, that was the first thing which i installed but let me select the 5.3 from the drop down so there you go so now we have 5.3 latest here and you can set a lot of uh, stuff here like you can make it creative you can make it neutral i'll just keep it at 0.7 this is uh, just my own preference and then you can chat with it just simply type anything it is going to chat with you there you go on the right hand side you can create a lot of prompts and you can save them for example this is the one i saved earlier but you can just use any one of them you can also arrange them in folders and directories on the left hand side and on the top if you click on this cog wheel then you can set the settings here but i'm not going to use it at the moment and on the bottom left you can also see the setting clear conversation and a lot of other stuff so let's clear this conversation so you have con uh, cleared it and just for the sake of it let's talk with it so maybe i'm just going to uh, say that explain this text version of the navier stokes equation to a five-year-old and then i have given it an equation so let's see what five three does here it is thinking let's wait for it to come back so you see there it it has uh it is just trying to explain it to a five-year-old and five three is selected at the top imagine you have some squishy play-doh and you want it to move the navier stoke equation is like a special set of instruction how good is that five-year-old are definitely into Play-Dohs and then it is just trying that if try to make two parts of a squishy move how good is that look at that I think this is one of the best answers I have received amazing let me ask it one more question so I'm asking your three friends Alice Bob and Chris chat at a bar Alice leaves for the restroom meanwhile Bob wanting to play a prank on Alice takes her cell phone from her purse and puts it in his bag Alice comes back and wants to check on her messages. Where does she look for her phone? Okay, so it is still thinking that it is a kiddo. It is just uh, doing that chat conversation. And it is just going there. So maybe I'll just clear the conversation. And ask it again. And I'm going to select 5.3 again. Okay, there you go. So you would need, so it, you would need to give it a new fresh context. So Alice is likely to first retrace her steps. Or ask the bar staff if they have see, seen her phone since this scenario has unfolded due to an unexpected event very nice amazing stuff let me clear the conversation and let me quickly try to ask it a coding question so maybe i'm going to uh, translate a code from python to javascript so let me do it so i'm just asking it to convert this is prime function from python to javascript there you go how good is that amazing stuff so you see not only it's reasoning it's a general chatting conversation abilities but it's overall coding and quality of responses is quite good anyway i have covered this model in great detail in my other uh, videos so try it out but now you know how to create a local chatbot private local on your local system you can use it you can even expose it to your own network uh, your own company if you want you can just use it for various purposes so sky is the limit there that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it 
if you have any questions or thought let me know if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching